Hey, today you and I are doing a 16-foot model railroad mainline extension. Let's get to it. Like I said, we're going to put a new level on top of this one so we can come back here and catch this curved turnout so the train can go back through the helix, go over El Dorado Mountain, through the canyon, down to Gross Reservoir, come back and connect back down to Denver. There's our man Jerry supervising the work, everybody. And there's the platform that's going to be used to connect the new level to the curved turnout. Paper clamps are used to glue a connecting piece between the hardboard pieces under the gap. And here's a look at the construction underway. It has not been set with glue max yet, but we're getting close to that. We're making sure everything lines up. That was a tight fit down there, everybody. A very tight fit, but we made it. Jerry and his guys are good. There's another turnout there that's going to be for another extension in the future. That extension would prevent trains from having to go through the helix. Bird's eye view. What we're doing here is I use cork roll that I get from Michaels. It's two feet long and uh, I believe a foot wide and I cut it into half inch pieces. So half inch by two feet. I put my um, cork down to the hardboard with caulk or fabric glue. My preference is fabric, fabric glue as it holds even better than caulk, but caulk holds well and if your turn's not too extreme you don't need um, any pins to hold it in which I like that part. It helps keep things smooth. Here's a view of the hardboard as it lays, just getting an idea of how I want everything to look. Um, there is the gross reservoir area, lots of water, a big dam there fed to and from by South Boulder Creek. Going to have a lot of that in my layout. Going to have a uh, industry down there. We'll talk about that more later. There's a view of the solid cork down. It's good stuff. Um, works well and a view all the way down the extension coming all the way down to Elmer's glue max is used in the holes and on the base where they meet the plywood. Skewers pressed through tightly drilled holes are used with a mini level to ensure the proper grade and horizontal level is maintained. And a look at it, so we've got the glue max on it right now getting it set. Um, once the glue max is there, we do have it leveled. There's my mini level to show you the proof and everything drying looking good getting ready for cork to go there as well making progress there's a picture of the cork roll from michael's form briar to being cut up
Time for track to go down. That's Pico Code 80 Flex. Got lots of videos on how I do this road bed and the flex, how I lay it. I'll put some cards in here towards the end. In the part we all love and enjoy trains running and this is the maiden voyage everybody we've got the train coming through right now it's coming over the top of el dorado mountain on my layout heading west into el dorado canyon after it crosses or uh, yeah crosses the peak of el dorado man uh, mountain it comes into el dorado canyon as it's progressing right now As it comes in through El Dorado Canyon, South Boulder Creek will be happening over there to the right. There's a huge dam, as I mentioned earlier, in the Gross Reservoir. And as you can see, I've got a double terminus coming off the main line there that's going to back into where I'm going to have a sawmill area up there and we're going to have those terminuses will be set up where the trains can come in and pick up logs and get back down towards Denver or back up to Winter Park through when it continues to go to the left here towards the um, Moffitt Tunnel. Now the train's coming back down through El Dorado Canyon but this time east towards Denver the downhill grade and we are entering the old part of the layout on top of the old main line that used to put the train back through the helix. And we come down the hill and we use the new uh, connection down here to tie into the turnout. We could either go into Denver Union Station here, we can pull off over there to Satieri's Mill, or we can stay on the main line and keep rolling through, which is what the train looks like it has elected to do. This is Brian with the Iron Horse Room, host of Denver Rio Grand Western. I appreciate you being here with me today. 